Hello there. Welcome again to another edition of Family Worship Night. Last weekend, Sandy and I and some of our family went downtown to look at the lights and the decorations throughout the area. There are Christmas lights everywhere and the trees hanging from the ceilings throughout the shops. Everywhere you look are lights and decorations. It really is spectacular. One of our traditions when we go downtown is to check out the Christmas tree elegant display, display at the River Park Mall and uh, throughout the historic Davenport Hotel. It is a fundraiser for the Spokane Symphony where professional decorators set up Christmas trees and displays and people can buy raffle tickets to try to win the decorations and other prizes. Now if I'm honest, I like the idea of trying to win some of the prizes. Each display includes housewares and trips and even cash along with the Christmas trees. It would be thrilling to win a prize. But the, the displays are so beautiful that it's just a delight to go through and look at all the gorgeous trees and the ornaments. Christmas is such a visual holiday. Each year the entire city is transformed into a type of living Christmas art. You've probably done some kind of decorating too, whether it's in your home or you've seen it at the stores or even here at the church, there are so many sights to behold. But today, we're going to ask the question, do you see? Pastor Alec from Westgate Chapel in Everett, Washington, did a Christmas series that explores a deeper connection with God through the holiday season. And I'm using some of his thoughts from that series. It would be my prayer for you this Christmas season that you would hear from God more sweetly, see God more clearly, know God more dearly, and walk with God more nearly. So grab your family and your Bible as we celebrate the arrival of our Savior and King, for Jesus Christ is born. If you have heard any Christmas music this season, you might have already heard Bing Crosby's classic, Do You Hear What I Hear? The song opens with this question. Said the night wind to the little lamb, do you see what I see? A star, a star, dancing in the night with a tail as big as a kite. This is a reference to the star of Bethlehem that appeared to announce the arrival of the birth of Jesus. Wow, can you imagine? The birth of a star to announce the arrival of Jesus. A star. You know, over the years, many have tried to understand what the star was. But in our day, with the availability of computers, it actually is very easy to model the stars in the sky, even to reverse them back to look at the exact skies over Bethlehem at the day that Jesus was born. Now, there is something marvelous that happened in 3 BC. Now, the astronomy science is a little long and complicated, but simply put, researchers have found that an in interesting conjunction of stars and planets happened in 3 BC. The planet Jupiter, which is the largest planet in our solar system, passes in front of a star called Regulus Rex, and it looks as though they're touching. Or what the Romans, Regular Rex was what the Romans called the King Star. Now this was not unusual as it happens about every 12 years. However, during this particular event, it appeared as though Jupiter moved across regular Rex, and then it looked as though it moved backwards across it again due to an optical illusion that astronomers called retrograde motion. In other words, the Magi from the West who carefully studied the stars would have witnessed the king planet, Jupiter, encircling the king star, Regulus Rex. And the conjunction of these two would have looked like a brighter than normal star. So it is no wonder that they interpreted this as a fulfillment of the Jewish prophecy for the arrival of a new king. At first glance, the conjunction of Jupiter and Regulus is spectacular, but not that uncommon. However, when it appeared as though the king planet circled around the king star, this was truly a rare event and most didn't even see it. But God did use this spectacular astronomical event as a sign that his son has arrived. Or at least it's possible that that's the event that, that was the Bethlehem star. It's easy to miss out on the wondrous things that God is doing unless we are looking. 
Do you see? Do you see what God is doing in our midst today? The Lord is still active today. He still sits on His throne and He is still in control. Let us open our eyes of our hearts before the Lord. Let us pray that we will uh, see His working in our lives. And so we're going to open with prayer and then have this week's song. And may you not only see with your physical eyes the beauty of the Christmas season, but also with the eyes of your heart as well. Let's pray. Our Father, we give you honor and glory and thank you for the good things that you still are doing in our world today. May we see with the eyes of our heart where you are at work. May we trust in you and may we trust in what you are doing. We honor you and thank you. Help us to draw near to you this Christmas season. In Jesus' name, amen. To sing this song to you It goes like this Fourth, the fifth The might have fall Made left With every breath I'm singing Hallelujah 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 Expecting child, they searched the end to find a place for you to come soon. There was no room for them to stay, so in the manger filled with hay, God's only son was born. By night to see this baby wrapped in light, a host of angels led them all to you. It was just as the angels said, You'll find a man, a man in bed, a man you will and say.
Welcome back. Let's read another portion of the Christmas story today, found in Luke chapter 2. The angels have just announced the birth of Jesus to the shepherds and told them where they could find the child. Now the angels leave, and the shepherds go to Bethlehem immediately. And we'll pick up the story at verse 15 in Luke chapter 2. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the same that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. You know, the shepherds went to see the newborn child and they found the baby lying in a manger just as they had been told. But they saw something more. This was not any child. This was Jesus, the Christ. They knew that hope and salvation had come to the world. They could see that this baby was the Messiah. So they leave glorifying God and with the good news that had been brought to them. This Christmas, you will see lights and decorations and many wonderful things to behold. But what will you see with your spiritual eyes? Christmas is more than presents and cookies and shopping and decorations. It is a celebration of the greatest gift of all that God has given to us, that God has given to you. Do you see? Do you see beyond the trimming and the wrappings and the sights and the sounds and see the salvation and the closeness with God that He offers? Do you celebrate the season? Or do you celebrate the Christ who came on that night so long ago? There is a great event happening here that we might miss if we're not looking. I want to leave you with a couple of questions that you can discuss at home before finishing up your own time of worship. First, why were the shepherds so happy after seeing the baby? Look back at this story and consider a few of the things that caused them to be joyous that night. Second, What is something that you have already seen this Christmas with spiritual eyes? Maybe you could talk about those two questions for a moment and then pray together to finish out your own time of worship. But for now, that's it. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this time together. Family Worship Night will happen again next week, so make sure that you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to receive reminders every time we add a new video. If you found this video helpful, consider sharing it on your own social media page and encourage others to join us for Family Worship Night. We'll see you again next week.